Hi guys, Brian here. Uh, as you can probably tell, uh, I'm at Grauman Chinese Theater. Uh, it will always be Grauman Chinese Theater to me, it will never be TCL. Um, and the reason I'm here today, um, today's an anniversary. Uh, today, uh, on this date, uh, is when you had the first two official handprints. You had Douglas Fairbanks here, and then you had Mary Pickford, which is here. Now, in between, you've got Norma Talmadge. You might see, notice Norma Talmadge says May 18th of 1927. That was actually back post dated to when the place opened. Um, that wasn't, she didn't do that then. That's just something. But for those of you who've never been here before, uh, these are the handprints. Now, you can see they come in different sh shapes and sizes in the past. Uh, that's just how it was. They, um, they had different, like here's Sonia Henny on his ice skates. Uh, so people had different sizes and things. They started to get up to running out of space. So they've, they've basically gone to a certain size now. In fact, there's Sid Grauman himself. Um, some of the particular ones people really like to find, um, there's Johnny Depp and Robert De Niro. The Hunger Games, get the gang from that movie Hunger Games. But you can see, they're, 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 they're to a, a regular size, they, they, they've, they've started to make them a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller as they go along. Hit the KA. Um, and you know you do this because you you earn it. I mean you, you know you work your ass off and whatever, and you do this kind of stuff, which is why you, you basically earn one of these unless you're Martin Lawrence. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's um, you know you work your ass off for a long time to, to for a lot of these people. Now there are particular stories that I like to talk about. First of all, Jimmy Stewart right here. Uh, you'll notice Jimmy Stewart did his on Friday the 13th. Uh, he made it a point. Uh, to, he did it underneath with a, there was a ladder and a broken mirror um, so he went, he went out of his way to do that which I thought was kind of funny um, I want to come over to here um, so here's Fred and Ginger uh, Gene Kelly Harry Potter um, this is Michael Jackson now I want to talk about this because people come here and go oh, look Michael Jackson uh, they did this after Michael Jackson died and they did this in his children uh, on January the 26th of 2012 they brought uh, his glove and his shoes and those were his kids handprints okay that's cool and then uh, not long after that uh, in a basement in a in a casino in Vegas he'd done an event and they found this in a basement in Vegas uh, and that's Michael's actual signature and his footprints uh, and he did this in, uh, in, in June of 1980, what is that, 89. Now, I've done uh, numerous interviews, this is Al Jolson's knee prints. See, people did personal things. Um, um, some of the dirtiest ones right there, there's Shirley Temple, because so many people put their handprints in Shirley Temple. Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Jimmy Durante pressed his nose into the, in the in here, so you can see his face in, so you can see his nose. Um, Where Rogers, that trigger was here. But I did an interview and um, the question was, what's your favorite? And it's this one. This man's name is Charles Nelson. It's not Charles Nelson Riley. It is just Charles Nelson. This man won Talent Quest uh, in 1949. Uh, he was, a, I believe, a junior, I believe, in Kansas in high school and a baritone singer. And basically he won America's Got Talent. And first prize was this. Um, he did some other things. He did some radio shows and stuff like that. Uh, but never really, I mean, this, this, this is what he's most known for if you really think about it. I think it's kind of funny. Now I said, you see how they're different sizes now, but they started getting into single sizes. Oh, by the way, um, there's John Wayne's footprints and his handprints. This is the part, remember where in I Love Lucy, when Harry and Ethel wanted to steal John Wayne's footprints from right here? Um, Quentin Tarantino, you might, I don't know if you can tell, but in the bottom of his shoes it says, fuck you, because that's Quentin Tarantino. 
Whoopi Goldberg cut up part of her hair and put her hair in the cement. Um, now look at this. See, now this is what it's coming up to now because it's really getting tight. So they're starting to do these this size. So you've got all these different people here. Uh, this was this was a fun one. Uh, I was here for this one. Now, some of you might, uh, and I want to explain something to you, because when, if you ever go back through my pictures, you'll see like the pictures that I took here. Uh, the stage for this thing, like the stage for any of these, the stage set up here in the center, right here. You've got uh, people in uh, audience, here, people watching here, people on the other side here. You've got the media watching. Um, and then this is where the stage is. So it all takes place here. And they're looking out at this. So that's what they're seeing. Now, whenever you see my photographs, what I'm doing in my photographs is I try and get up there. If I can get do it without getting shushed away. So I'm able to get shots looking down this way. And that's how I get my little side shots. I also put my thing on my, you know, my, my monopod and I can raise this thing about six feet in the air, um, hot, you know, taller than myself. Uh, there's a famous picture, you can find it online. Uh, you can find Elizabeth Short, the black die, is standing next to, um, I believe it was this one, uh, of the, the lions here uh, before she died, which is murdered. Um, it is open for tours. That's new. But it is open for tours. Uh, I know they've opened the theaters, I guess, for, I don't know, it's showing now, but I know that part of the, some of the theaters are open. Uh, Leap Burt Reynolds. Maurice Chevalier. And that's my personal favorite. The most beautiful woman God ever created, Myrna Loy. So, um, with that in mind, ooh, coming to you from Grumman's Chinese Theater. Um, For those of you who've never been here view-wise, uh, the Chinese Theater, there you got the Roosevelt right there. That's how they had the first Academy Awards. The Roosevelt opened shortly before, um, the Roosevelt opened first, and this, they opened within a week of each other, which is kind of cool. Must have been a hell of a party. So, um, I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks very much, and um, I'll talk to you later.